Today is the 20th and the water's really going down now. My Thai friends have been camping here on the steps for 20 days. They've been doing very well, catching fish, going in the boat, and now he's making a tom yam salad. Sadika! We don't need to take the canoe shopping anymore to Big Sea as the water's too shallow at the end of the story. Le was sleeping for the first time on a dry ish pavement on his street corner. The black dog in the next soy was walking a little better than yesterday but wandering precariously in the road. Pegasem going away from the city is still underwater. Going in is drying out. Many soys are much lower than the main road so are still under a lot of water. You can see why it's been so difficult to walk on the pavement the last two weeks. Big C's car park was completely dry for the first time. Quiet for a Sunday afternoon, normally elbow to elbow with pavement stalls and customers. Beer hasn't returned to the shelves yet. Water, once scarce, takes its place. No banks have remained open in our area. All ATM machines are out of service and have been since the flood began, making it necessary to venture far out of the area to get cash. Coca-Cola is out of stock everywhere, but their vans are helping residents get home. Shoppers, grateful for the chance of a lift, take a place anywhere they can fit. Whether on foot, bicycle, Bus, catching lifts on trucks and lorries. Thais have adapted remarkably well with patience and good spirits to getting around Bangkok since the floods began. Fishermen set nets and catch fish on land inundated by an adjacent canal. The market around 7-Eleven cooks noodles, salads and brochettes of meat. Ton's owner evacuated when the flood began in our soy and returned for the first time today to see what became of her house. Ton heard her voice from across the street and was impatient to see her. She came across to see him and asked if we could look after him a while longer, then left. <laughs>